Well, go on. Say hi. Tell the camera who you are. Hi. My name is uh, Nurse Jessica. Uh, the agency sent me. And, and tell us, Nurse Jessica, why have you chose this particular asylum to work out? Be because I want to do well. And impress the owners and get taken on as for an hire. Perfect answer. Well done, new girl. Um, I was told to report to the nurse in charge at 11 p.m. I guess that's me. <laughs> Welcome to Bedlam. <laughs> I, I thought this was Bedlam. It's our pet name for this hellhole. You know, after the English asylum. Do you know that they used to organize tours for rich folks to gawk at the lunatics? No, sorry. Never heard of it. Don't they teach y'all nothing at nurses school these days? Jeez. <laughs> anyway, if you're lucky you're starting here on night shift. It's always like real nice and quiet here on night shift. It's where nurses' dreams come to die. <laughs> I see you brought your own border relief. Smart. We like to make our own entertainment up in here. Look a look. Uh, 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 com. This is your website? Yeah. Yeah, I've got this boyfriend who makes websites. My same boyfriend, being my Uncle Richard, who fingered me on my 16th birthday. Anyway, he made this one for me. Show me how to upload directly from my cell. Look, two million hits so far. I'm sorry, I didn't... Well, don't just stand there. I'm on this side of the desk. You're part of the team now. I say team. I mean me. You know, of course. An orderly kicking around here somewhere. There used to be six of us, but with cost-cut measures and all. What happens in the event of an emergency? Oh, jeez. We haven't had one of those in ages. We keep all the loonies drugged up to their eyeballs. Oh, the problem ones, anyways. All we have to do is sit here and watch them on CCTV for minimum wage. Really? Mm -hmm. I know, it's not exactly what I had in mind when I got into nursing author. This position is just a stepping stone for me. I want to specialize in private site nursing. Well, look at you, girlfriend. I had me some big dreams when I started here, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, if one of the loonies does wake up and get unruly, we stick him with one of these. Knocks him right back out flat. Hell, this shit knock a fucking horse out flat in about five seconds. Really? I'll get you yours after I finish showing you around. Of course, I guess the most interesting thing that ever happens around here is if we lose one of them. Lose one? Mm -hmm. You know, every now and then one of them will kill themselves. Knotted sheets are particularly popular, as is the plastic cutlery. You would be amazed at the damage a sport can do. Oh, you mean suicides? Mm -hmm. Do you have many of those? Two to three a year. Makes things exciting for a little bit. Nothing like a good old suicide to cut through the boredom. Sometimes I like to fuck one of the morgue guys when they come to pick up the steps. There was this one time I had just finished fucking one of them in the dead room. In the dead room? Yeah, the dead room. Where he put the deceased. The recently not living's no more. I Duh. get it, I get it. Anyway, he just finished doing his business when this dead dude's folk show up in the middle of the night and all. I have to get dressed in the dark, totally lost my panties, and go greet this patient's grieving family. Giant wet spot on my ass. And girl, there is nothing like a freshly laundered nurse's uniform for showing up the jizz. You didn't use a condom? <laughs> y you're not concerned about the SDGs? <laughs> These guys work for the city morgue in the middle of the fucking night. Who the fuck else are they fucking? You want to go see the dead room? We got one in there right now. Slice the shit out of his wrist this afternoon. Coroner, police. Now he just needs picking up before he starts stinking. Come on, I'll show you the restrooms on the way. You got a pee? Uh, no, but thank you. <laughs> oh, good evening, phone book. How are you? 
the space antelopes are going to eat our spleens. They're on their way to Earth, traveling 20 million light years from the planet Antelopia. Just to eat our spleens? Oh, V. Last night it was the hedgehogs from the Earth's core that were going to eat our livers. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. I think it's the gummit who sent them. Why do you think we can live without our spleens, nurse? Go on, phone book. I'll buy it. It's because we don't need our spleens after all. Don't you see? The space antelopes, we're being bred to feed them. It makes perfect sense. Absolutely. And that's all well and good, Bumba. But you need to be in bed. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> hey, while we're here, let me introduce you to Emily. Emily? Now, we don't know her real name. It's what we call her. She emulates people from TV, get it? <laughs> Shouldn't that be emulate? Emulate, emulate. <laughs> Aren't you a walking fucking dictionary? <laughs> Emily! Hey, Emily! Meet Nurse Jessica! What you doing disturbing me? You know I'm like friggin' pregnant. Can't get my friggin' nipples to stop leaking. All I have to do is like, Hear somebody's breath screaming. My tits are like Niagara friggin' Falls. She's pregnant? No, she's been watching Jersey Shore reruns again. <laughs> she sounds exactly like Snooky. Yeah, she can do them all. That's what she does. <laughs> all fucking day and night. Never sleeps. I mean, never. She just sits here watching TV and she copies the people she sees. Watch this. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Oh, Toto, I wish we were back in Kansas again, Fanny Ann. I wish. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. Always with the fucking singing. Gets to you after a while. Oh, wow. That was awesome. She sounds exactly like Judy fucking Garland. <laughs> she can do them all. Want to know the weirdest thing? Sometimes when she's doing this, she actually looks like the person that she's copying. It's nothing you could take a photograph of. It's real subtle. She could swear that she had become that person. Even the cartoon characters. It's fucking weird. And that's all she does? Yep. All day, every day. Never said a fucking word on her own behalf. Oh, that's very sad. Sad? It's fucking creepy is what it is. All right, those bed points? Say you read a book. I followed this link off of Wikipedia. And there was this thing about demons that emulate people. Mimic demons, they call them. <laughs> and you think she may be one of these demons? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's just <laughs> loony tunes like the rest of the crazy fucks in here. Hey, you're not going to get spooked, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen corpses before. Yeah. But this one's a suicide. It means that his spirit could still be lingering somewhere around here, trying to find a way to get back into his body. <gasps> you know, because it's a suicide and heaven won't let him in. <laughs> you're trying to scare me. <laughs> yes, I am. I can see that I'm wasting my time. Face. 
Another home run, Jebediah. <laughs> There's Jessica. Jebediah. We just call him Jeb. Jeb. It's Nurse Jessica. Nice to meet your queen, <laughs> Nurse Jessica. <laughs> One of my mom's favorites. I'm sure you will love it. Ozzy! Ozzy, you asshole! One of the dogs has done a poop on the dining room carpet again. What the bloody hell? Ah! 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 ah. It's called Lady Sings the Blues, about the singer Billy Holiday. It's that old devil called love again. Gets behind me and keeps giving me a shove again. Putting rain in my eyes, tears in my dreams, and rocks in my heart. <laughs> Not your finger. It's sweating time! Come on, get that party going! Oh yeah! Come dance with me! Oh yeah, that's it! Five, six, seven, eight, and double touch. Now walk the floor. And exhale. One, two, three, four, step higher. I'll be right back. You're doing fantastic. Now heels and lift. Girl, <laughs> we thought you were busy. Otherwise, we would have invited you over. Yeah, we're just having some fun with the trash can here. <laughs> Get your goddamn head down tight tell you to come up, you fucking retard. It's one in the morning. This patient should be asleep. Well, we woke her up for some fun and games. I may have neglected to give her her sleep meds tonight. <laughs> Jeff, make her fall up again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she looks just like Oscar the Poking Grouch. This looks amazing, Jeb. Look, Jess. Look, look, Jess. She looks just like fucking Oscar the, the Grouch. The Grouch, yeah, you said. You should be at the front desk. I'll talk to her later. That bitch ain't gonna say nothing to no one. You know, Emily, I'm not sure who's the craziest in this place. You patients of those two. Al Peter, what have you done this time? This is just like the time you got Tom Cruise to unblock the toilet with a llama. <laughs> one, two, one, two, and three. Point those toes. You are beautiful. What are you friggin' looking at? Like you never seen me before? Help me, please. Help me. That was you. Your own voice. It was. You are in there. Oh my god, that's wonderful. The others got to hear this. Well, Emily, this is just going to be our secret for now.
Come on, Emily. You're supposed to be making like Linda fucking Lovelace in here. Come on, Jack, make me suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> this is one movie I'm looking forward to seeing your copy. <laughs> stop it, stop it, leave that alone. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like I'm about to have me a little threesome. I said leave that alone. And do that you go. You look here, nursey. Who do you think you are coming in here ordering us about? You do well to remember which one of us here is temporary, little girl. <laughs> so, temporary doesn't mean I have to stand by and watch you boyfriends raping the patient. It ain't rape, Jesse, baby. These don't count on account. They don't have a sound mind. It's probably in the Constitution of the United States and all. You are one sick bastard, Jebediah. What is wrong with you? Your dick is not big enough to satisfy a sane woman? There ain't nothing wrong with my fucking dick, bitch! And after I'm done playing deep throw with Emily here, I might let you see for yourself precisely what I can do with it. Don't you dare threaten me, you asshole. You quit filming. I am so going to tell the management and the police about you two and your little sorry games. You sick bastard should not be allowed anywhere near the patient. Now there's no need to be hasty. There's every need to be hasty. Someone needs to protect these poor people. You both are sick people. Stay quiet, Jebediah. I'll get her to calm down. I'll get her to see things our way. Don't worry about it. She's not going to fuck up her green card over this shit. Right? Okay? Call your fucking pants up. Jessica, Jessica, wait up. Stay away from me. I'm sorry. What more can I say? I'm sorry. You have to understand. You get so bored. Nothing happens here ever. We just get so bored. That doesn't give you the right to assault the patients. They don't know any different, Jessica. You have to stop thinking of them like real people. For all we know, they enjoy the attention. You are just a piece of work, aren't you? Please try and understand. She spoke to me. Emily, she spoke to me in her own voice. I sincerely doubt that. There was definitely something. There was something behind the voices and the nonsense. She was begging for help, and you and that boyfriend of yours were <laughs> gonna Why don't you go take a smoke break? Calm yourself down. I'll cover for you. I don't see. Now's as good a time to start to any. You go outside and smoke this. Or don't. You think long and hard about what getting caught up in this kind of bullshit could do to your career, your legal status in this country. <laughs> and if you still feel like management needs to know about this incident, I'll make the fucking call myself. You promise no more. I promise. No more worry. <laughs> Jeff, you in here? Quit phone around and turn the lights back on. We have to finish up before Nursey McPerfect comes back. Jeb, this is so not funny. <laughs>
Hey you. I knew it had to be you. That's why I brought you the werewolf movie. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many crappy jobs in mental institutions I've taken just to track you down? <laughs> I guess you don't. And then I saw on the internet this patient and her crazy voices. <laughs> Here you are. I have the perfect buyer in mind for you, my sweet thing. He's going to pay top dollar for a mimic demon like you. Which means I don't have to set foot in one of these places ever again. Around us trying to steal the light in time. Let's will unravel to reveal a side of life where everything that could go wrong goes wrong till we find that's in the belfries of a haunted mind. There is no Chances of escape 